What's popping or it's us or whatever. Ooh, I'm like, the light's a little, look a little. Not chocolate, like melanin, you look all melanin, I look all Do yellow. I? I feel like I look yellow. I feel like I look yellow. I am in Fabida. I I'm in Fabida. I am in I'm in Fabida. I I am in I'm in Fabida. I I am in I'm in Fabida. I am in I'm in Fabida. I I am in Fabida. I am in Fabida. I am in Fabida. I am in Hey guys! <laughs> oh god. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with my girlfriends. Um, today we have Angela, we have Mel, and we have Sabrina. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get their perspectives on a couple of things. I hope it doesn't get a little heated, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. So I don't know how I don't really know how to start, so we're just gonna dive in. Like you guys are cute with that. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. So I mean this week we had like a bunch of topics on social media. Like I don't know if you guys saw the meme with Gucci Mane. Oh. Oh, and yeah, Snoop Dogg and how you should really be a ride or die, let your man cheat on you and you know, treat you any type of way so that he can be like a good man in the future. <clears throat> how y'all how y'all feel about I mean, How y'all feel about that? I mean, when I saw it, I was just like, I guess it worked out for her. Like, it was okay that she stuck around, but it's not, gonna, <laughs> yeah, like, it's not gonna work out for everybody else. Like, I saw some yeah. like um, she was there with him when he was like wild Gucci mm -hmm. and like Fat Gucci. yeah, but like if he was wild girl Gucci, 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 yeah, like, 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 Gucci, yeah, yeah, like and I'm that's like, all before the ring, please. Yeah, yeah no, and they were together for how many? Mm. Some people think that every man cheats. Do you guys think that's a true statement? Um, do you guys feel like everyone cheats? No, that's what the, they're saying. They think every man cheats. I know, but she's saying you everyone. think everyone. Yeah. Hey, I'm, not everyone. Saying, I'm, not, I'm not saying me, but like, you saw it. It's a like, um, do you consider flirting cheating? Something like that. I saw it on Instagram. That's oh, I saw true. It. That's yeah. true. Yeah. It is true. And it is girls, they like to flirt. Yeah, it's like, yeah, but I'm not really cheating. shape or form can fall into temptation that's in some way like whether it's talking to someone through friendship and then you develop something for them or if it's like you legit are out here just wilding yeah. like just no type of self-control and then so I think yeah to that point I think I saw something it's like if you wouldn't do it in front of your partner then do it's considered it. cheating oh, yeah. yeah like if I'm talking to a guy and he's kiki kaka I'm like this <laughs> nah, nah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's clearly cheating. But do y'all think every man cheats? Like people like are in relationships and they're like, okay, but every man cheats. So. But it's like, what do you consider what do you cheating? What do you consider cheating? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you guys think it's up to the relate, like the person, the two people in the relationship to talk about? Because like, I don't know. Do you think flirting is cheating? Yeah, I see what she means. Because some like, people, some people might think flirting is cheating, and then some people might think flirting is not cheating. That's just my personality. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Me personally, flirting is flirting. So you yeah, that's all right. Like, that's true. <laughs> I don't think. I like, I know someone who like his personality, like that's just how he is. Yeah, and like he likes to talk to mad girls, but like in a friendly way. But like it depends, like if the girl accepts it or not. Like the only type of friends we need to be out here is brothers and sisters and friends. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, you guys think if a person wants a cheater, they're always a cheater? No. You're a real I mean, kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, I feel like if he really likes, like, let's say it's a guy, if he really likes the girl, like, he'll change his ways for her, I think. I actually agree with Angela. Yeah. I actually agree with, like, just because he might have cheated on a homegirl back yeah, in the day, like, all right, I'm here, so... I could have changed his life. So yes. you're trying to say once a cheater with someone, He's, he's capable of cheating with her again, but he's not capable of cheating with a new person. Is that but sometimes I feel like it depends on the situation. Like a guy could have, so guy could have consistently cheated with a girl, but then it'd be in a new relationship and be like, 
You be like, wait, that guy was a mess back in the day, yeah. but now he's dating a whole new girl. He's really trying to change. His so way. that's what I'm, so that's what you're saying that he can cheat on the same girl. He's capable of cheating if he cheated on girl Ashley. He's uh-huh. capable of cheating on Ashley again and again so and again. I guess but just because he met Mary, all of a sudden his life was changed. He could be changed. Mary probably, he believes Mary probably, probably got another guy in her and it's certain to him and then he's changed. I believe it. I'm so You're crazy. <laughs> but I mean, I feel like if he cheats on me once, I'm not sure. How like, it, yeah, life. like, he might be changed, but it's just like, I feel like that's a 50-50 chance. Like, you really don't know with that. Like, I can't say he's yeah. once a cheater, always a cheater, but I feel like it depends on oh, what situation yeah. Yeah. Cause like if he cheats on you once, you're gonna like have the mindset that. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, oh, would you stay? Gonna, I don't yeah. know. That's, that's yeah. that, that was the other question. Yeah. I was gonna say if someone cheats on you, mm-hmm. would you like? Do you think you would stay, whether it be relationship, marriage, and if you are married, yes, kids are involved. Do you still think you just you could relationship? Hell, no, no. In a marriage, I would oh, stay. Okay. Don't no, say it so strongly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. God. <laughs> It's just like you did all that for everything to fall apart, but like you're not gonna work. But I did all that and you didn't appreciate it. Yeah, and you went out. Clearly, like clearly, all that wasn't good enough. So mm, I think that not every cheatation in marriage. Mm -hmm. Hello, I made up my words. (laughs) I want you Williams over here making up my words. I think that not every cheatation in marriage should end in divorce or mm-hmm. um, dissolve in the marriage. I think in a relationship, yes, I don't have time for nobody's son out here, so you can go back to mamas yeah. and get it together. And I also but, feel like, for me personally, if you're cheating in the relationship, you didn't even freaking make it to marriage. Like you already, like, already, you already, 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 already showing you before you get married. Exactly. Like, that's 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 God. God. Exactly. So I feel like if you're cheating on me in a relationship, yeah. I'm, I'm very fearful of how the marriage can go. Yeah. But if you, like, I'm not, God, please, I don't want to yeah. cheat on But if you cheat on me in a marriage and we've made it this far, I might forgive you. But if you do it again, eh, yeah, nah. Yeah. But I feel like right now we're married. saying, like, if we were married and, like, they were to cheat, we probably would leave them. But yeah, I was we're saying, would, yeah. Like, we were, you're so much, like, we're all so strong. Like, have you ever yeah. talked to your girlfriend before? Like, girl, I would never do that. Then you get put in a situation. Exactly. Like, like, and then you like, and then a girlfriend <laughs> calls you back and, like, girl, we back together. <laughs> So I was having a conversation with my friends this week, and it was like, if something tragic happened and you had to choose between your parents, your kids, and your spouse, who would you choose and why? I hate this question. I I I would say the future, which is my children. The kids, yeah. I would say the same too. We could just get another. But why? Another husband. (laughs) 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 So that that dude is coming. Lord, I don't mean that. But I'm just saying, like, the future is, like, that's important. And depending on what stage of my life this tragic, God forbid, is going on, then, like, I may not be able to have kids again unless I'm adopted oh or something. Yeah. Thing. But we could get another husband. And my parents, but it lives. Like, thank you. My parents have lived. I am living. But they can, no, God, nothing happened no. to them. But I, they're okay. I feel like for my kids, it's like, I, like, I, they're gone. <laughs> like, yeah. You don't care if he out? <laughs> no, but like, like, that's too us. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm definitely choosing my kids because it's just like at the end of the day, like they still have a life to live, and that's just like I mean, if they're growing, I might still choose my, my I might choose my husband because at this point, you live. yeah. I'm but like, if they're like young, I feel like it also depends on the stage of my ch- my children, like. Um, like your children is like they're your responsibility. Yeah. Like, yeah. like your husband is not really. And as soon as that's like your partner, so like your children are your. So let's partner. say yeah. that your children are grown and you know they live on their own and you still have to choose my husband, my family, my my uh, kids, or my parent. Well, I, I feel like we're all kicking our parents off. Sorry, yes. Yes. sorry, mom and dad. But sorry to all the moms. <laughs> if you have to choose between your grown kids and your husband, how do you think it would shock? Like. 30. Like the Wait, what's the situation? Like, what's happening to the... It's like, a tragic situation and you just have to choose. You I think I'm going to choose my husband. Yeah, I think at that point I'm going to choose Yeah. Husband. And oh, if I have yeah. young kids... Like, you want to choose your kids? Yeah. You want to choose your kids? Big, they got any kids. They're men. I'm like, like, I'm them. Like, I want them to flourish, you know? Okay. I mean, they have flourished. 
where he is in his life like where he is in his life too may also bring out a different version of himself so it can be the woman but sometimes it's just where he is in his level of maturity and yeah, the woman's should... already immature he's going to make sure he's playing yeah, yeah, he's yeah, going to keep being immature but if he is like taking a, taking a step back and he's like you know I'm trying to grow as a man I'm yeah. trying to like build and mm -hmm. all that stuff like I feel mm -hmm. like he could be different mm -hmm. um so with that being said do you guys think if leaving after being cheated on makes you weak Cause you know a lot of people like, cause then you like back to the Snoop Dogg thing. They're like, yeah, these weak women. As soon as one through camp, y'all be like, I'm out. <laughs> and I don't know if that makes you weak. It just means you're not you're taking, taking what he's like. Yeah. You're not, yeah, you're not accepting what he's doing to you. Cause that just makes you stronger. Cause yeah. you're not you're taking a stand for yourself and you're leaving. Yeah, but cheating, ultimate cheating, sleeping with another person. That's the ultimate okay. cheating. Yeah, it's not think, flirting. Yeah, yeah. like. I But if he has slept with someone else, okay, but you and you left, do you feel like that makes a woman weak or do you still like feel like it's standing your ground? You're standing your ground. I think it makes you really strong because yeah. if you're like in a marriage or if you've been in a long term relationship with someone and you've like really committed to them, altered your life for them in certain ways and then you leave, that's not an easy situation. And then if, if we're talking marriage and you have kids, you have a house together, you have bills together, that's a lot. Can we just get over this notion that like women have to suffer before, yes! before we find true love? It's like they don't have to suffer before because yeah. we're women and we should really mm -hmm. we, we as first of all we have to go through childbirth as that's hard as that oh, is but you guys so want us to take in the cheating and being vulnerable oh, disrespect oh, being God. walked upon we should take that too for why yeah like what, what is the reason i don't get it like do you guys think that social media impacts relationships and how do you think like relationships like, well we're talking about the friends if your friends think that your man is good and he do something wrong then your friends is looking like Girl, you're so dumb. Like, yeah, stay with yeah, me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, no, you're not in the relationship with me. That's yeah. what I see. But that's why I feel like you shouldn't be telling your friends every single thing, like, in your relationship. Because then, like, when one little thing happens, then, like, they have, like, a whole perspective of it. And then it just makes everything like, I don't know. Or they have a But it's so you. hard not to yeah, tell your girlfriend, true. like, you know, sometimes yeah, that's you tell your girlfriend, you gotta tell them. Uh, you like, gotta tell them to back. Like, <laughs> Me and Melody like hang out a lot, like mm -hmm. not even on purpose, like during the week, so, like especially when like I had a different job, like I'd be like, Melody, she did not come over, so she knew most of my yeah, life. Yeah. So I'm like, girl, let me tell you what he did, and she's like, yeah, girl, you gotta leave him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how be. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna leave him because clearly, like my friend is on my side, she gets it. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes at the end of the day, like yeah, like, you gotta yeah, make that like, embarrassment like, call, like girl. Yeah. So we're not gonna tell you. We, we or like, or worse when you call them and then like, wait, wait. they're like dressed up and stuff, and you be like, "Who's on the other side? Like, where are you going?" I'm like, "Girl, I'm like, that. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> no, you does that really be you? I know. Like, I'm like, where are you going? Yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, I'm, like uh, I'm gonna call you back. I don't feel like I'm answering these questions. questions. But that's crazy. Like I don't. I feel like sometimes what do you have left to say? Like yes, I'm back with my man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, period. Like, yeah. But social media is worse. But I just like relationships. Like, yeah. I feel like expectations. I feel, like, expectations. Is the word. Mm -hmm. like, I feel like social media makes you have unrealistic expectations. Gosh. It makes you feel like everybody should be one way when we are all different in terms of dealing with different people. Like. Those two might be really nice to each other, but some two people might really like arguing, and they and they good, mm -hmm. they like that. That's yeah. that's what's for them. But it's just like everybody like looks at one couple and just like, oh my god, go listic, and it's just like yeah. I want to go towards that, and it's just like, and they says that's really not for you, so chill out. <laughs> how do you guys? How long do you think someone should ride or die? Like Emily B, she's been with her man for like ten yeah. years. Emily B, hey, what's hey, the other one? Like Chrissy. And um, Joe, oh, uh, Jim Jones, Jim Jones, Chris they, and Jim Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jim Jones. Yeah, and, and then she proposed 
What y'all proposed to y'all What she said? Yeah, I'm never proposed to nobody. What? What? Were you going on with me? Yes, she did. On live TV, on Love and Hip Hop. Oh, no. Nah. Y'all can check my um facts. Y'all can fact check me, but I think she did propose to him on um Love and Hip Hop. But why would you? But do how? That? So That's personally speaking, as of now, since we're on this topic, how long do you guys think you guys can be with somebody and they still haven't married you? These people have been with their like I'm talking about like from now. I feel mm -hmm. like you're with somebody from high school. Like okay, maybe you guys been together for like ten years mm -hmm. or something. Because clearly, we've been yeah, you know like we're still years. building. Mm -hmm. But as of being like at our older ages mm -hmm. in our 20s, how long do you think is acceptable to be dating somebody without marriage? Like, but it depends. Like, are they going like? Are they in college? Like, are they trying to get their masters or like? Like okay, let's say yeah. at your age. Let's let me give a number. Let's say you're at the age of 23, 24. How long do you think you should date somebody before it's just like, all right, enough is enough? Before you, before you get serious? No, before, before he's like, no, proposing, like, proposing. Like, nah, four years. At 23 years old? At 23, years at 23 old? I'm gonna get engaged. Yes, I'm like 25, 26. I had that dream too. Yeah. I'm Girl, then I'm gonna try. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I feel too much. Jesus. <laughs> the way I have things planned out, I mean, hopefully it goes out that way. If it doesn't, it's like, okay, but I want to get engaged when I'm 25, 26. Hey, man. You see somebody? <laughs> Hmm. I feel like if I started dating them at like 22, I probably would give, or 23, I'll probably give it like five years because like we try to like, you know, work. We're probably like 22. I'm, I, the most, the maximum I'm going is five years. Uh, so at 37, it's like engaged, like. Yeah, 27, we got deep. No, to, no, 27. Like, I need to this math is not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, by 27. I thought you were trying to engage. No, because I have to wait. I want to get proposed to around 25, 26, and then get married around 27, 26. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But, amen. <laughs> nah, I definitely think like five years is the maximum. I think you can get like 25. Years. I think after 25, 26, then mm -hmm. it should be like three two, years. three years. Yeah, yeah like at, this, it should be, at your grown age. Yeah, yeah. like now. Nah, like you still don't know what you want. At this point, I'm out. Period. Yeah. <laughs> like, what you we mean? We don't need to be retiring together if we're not married. Like, come on. <laughs> Saying that and breaking up and saying like I'm gonna leave because it's five years has been too long. So if you've been in a relationship for five years, how long do you guys think it should take before you start dating again? Are you okay? Yeah. It's <laughs> <You're> supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's see. I'm listening. I ain't gonna answer this one. Wait. Yeah, wait. Why are you not? Yeah, answering? wait. I'm so confused. We're gonna have to talk off camera. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like if I dated somebody for three, four years, I feel like I could take like a year. But why like, like, I did yeah. Y'all did it for five years and then y'all break up. Yeah, and it's like to start seeing other people. Why you need time to heal or like oh. <laughs> No, like I don't know. It's just like not out. Oh, oh, it was like, like time is not on nobody's <laughs> Five years of dedication yeah, to like one it. man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this relationship. You think, what is you at war? <laughs> <laughs> I done put so much into this relationship. I'm not about to just. Like, yeah, yeah. I need to like slowly like work myself. Like, I'm a person that like I kind of like dwell in my sadness. So I just I don't want to go to the next relationship. But he was supposed yeah. to love me. <laughs> that's me, that's me. <laughs> like, why do it? Like, I'm not gonna be focused on you as much as I need to. So yeah, I feel like yeah. I need that time to like self evaluate and just go from there. I don't think it should be like a time frame. Like, I don't think it's like a year yeah. or six months. I think it's more it so like. <laughs> Just like, like internally, like if you've healed, if you've like reconnected to, I mean, I'm just gonna be, just be blunt. Like if you've reconnected with Christ or like, you know, you build yourself and all the things you need to build them financially, emotionally, mm -hmm. spiritually, then I think at that point, once you feel like, okay, I'm set, not I'm set, like I'm good, like I'm perfect, yeah. but I'm set, like I'm ready. So how do you know when you've like healed? Like once you, what's your definition of healing? Yeah. Like, for me, I think it's when you when you can see and speak to the person and there's there's no no feelings yeah, stirring up. No, great. but I feel like I'm always going like that's what I'm saying. Like, if I have an ex that hurt me, I'm always gonna feel that feeling. Like no, I'm not gonna. I mean, no, nah. because like if you can see the person, I'm like you still have not you have feelings for them, but like you have love for them, but like it's not in that way. Mm -hmm. Then I feel like I, like that's how yeah. I know like I'm over I'm it. over it. I feel like yeah, and like if I, I don't. I know feel like I know he. Key. I don't like. Hmm. You said what about the girlfriend? Like if I know he has a girlfriend or like he signed someone and I. Yeah. Don't know, yeah. Like, nah, sometimes. 
sometimes though, when you see them with the girlfriend, you, yes. you, you be like, you got some nerve. Like, you got some nerve, bro, to have a girlfriend. Right? No. Mom. And we just broke up a couple, like, a couple months ago, and I, boom, But if they doing that, then they didn't give you time to heal. Yeah. yeah. Right? True. Yeah, but my healing, that's the other thing. Like, your healing should not depend on the person. That's though. true. Like, you should heal for yourself. So, mm -hmm. I think that's why, like, I mean, like, once you heal within yourself internally, then I you feel can like, start for me people. personally, if I'm like trying to heal and then all of a sudden I see you with a girlfriend, I'm not healing. <laughs> I, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. You yeah. done hurt me even more. Like, first you broke up, oh, then you got yeah. girlfriend yeah. out. Yeah. And then imagine seeing them marry. In like a year or two, like I feel like that for like. I do, you guys, do you guys think like healing includes like forgetting every memory of that person, or like no. just more so like accepting? Because that, that was one of my questions, guys. <laughs> what do you mean forget? Like yeah, you mean like block them, delete them, delete all the pictures? Oh yeah, my, like mentally block. Like, but you really think you gotta block them though? I can't block them. Yeah, I can block them. Yeah, I like. I'm not even doing it. I'm not even doing my Instagram. No, I don't need to. Like, I don't want to see. Like, am I supposed to be smiling at the fact that you got a new girlfriend? But if you, if you guys are okay with just not knowing what's going on. Yes, because I'm not jury duty. Do you call me jury duty? Like, I'm not here to come and watch the witness. But you don't be smiling. Damn, I wonder what he's doing. Yeah, like, wait. I would see him when I see him. But most likely, though, if you think about it, if you were talking to someone or were in a relationship with them, most most times, like the circle, the clique, their friends are still kind of your friends. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I think like naturally, especially us being women, like we do go on the block hole, the whole block thing, like mm -hmm. block your number, block your Instagram, block your. I don't Facebook. know how y'all do that. Though. Really? I Hello? You ain't but what are we being cordial about? Like, what are we going to talk it's about? We're not cordial, though. Yeah, like, don't just, me up. Oh, like, like blocking your Instagram? No. And no, no, she's saying it's not being cordial, but you still like, like don't hit it up. I'm going to talk yeah, to you. Yeah, I actually spoke with you. Why do I want to see? Like, what am I? I just don't. I don't know how to What is this doing for you? What is the event doing for you? It's even making the pet crazy. Like, angry. Like, I don't need to be angry. I don't need to be angry. Like, I don't girl. How you gonna know he posted if you're not? Yeah. Exactly! No, but all I, I, I don't wanna know if he's not. Serious, no, I, I need to know. Yeah. You wanna hit him up? Then your yeah. group chat ain't popping because my group chat. No, but even when I wasn't post, uh, following them, it was like. They sent it to me. I didn't even see it. And then it's like, somebody, people be feeling entitled, like, oh, she's still checking for me. Who? That's. I'm not checking for the other day. Who checking for you? I'm not checking for you. Yeah, I'm not watching your stuff. I'm blocking you. Get done. Delete it. I don't know who you are. You, I don't know if y'all saw that Kiki me, uh, Palmer me. You know, if I don't sound ridiculous, I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. I don't know him. I don't know that man. Y'all know that serious. Like, any guy I talk to, ask my friends. They'll be like, you, um, I saw such, I'm like, who? Like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> But do you think that makes you look like angry? That's what I'm saying. Like, like, like you mad? Like, like, like I'm mad? Like, which was going to be one of my questions. Do you guys feel like you have to be cordial with your ex, or do you think blocking him is okay? Like, I feel like people have different perspectives. And I wanted to know your. Me best. personally, I think we'll, we would be cordial. cordial yeah. I don't I have time. Or I don't know. The question was, do you think it makes you immature to block your ex, or do you feel like it's more so immature to like yeah I feel like it does in his perspective I feel like it makes you it makes you look immature because but you're like I don't think I'm glad that you said that in his perspective because from from a woman's perspective it just makes you look hurt like I don't think if, if I see my friends or another woman blocking their ex boyfriend I don't think like they be immature I think they're just hurt like they need time to heal they need time to get rid of whatever he did to them or however they feel about the person and then. Once yeah, they've gotten rid of it, then they can be cordial. But in his eyes, you you, you might look her and you might even look immature. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I don't have time for his friends. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I, I, I feel like for me, I, I, I feel like I can block. And if I see you, I'll say hi. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still going to like, mm. speak to you here and there. But I'm, I'm not. About that. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I don't say hi. I'm not saying hi. I'm not saying hi. I'm not I'm saying hi. Like for me, in my heart, I I'm be like, like oh, are you gonna do that? I want to, oh, but I'm oh, like, oh, hey, hey, how are you? And then go home. Yeah, like, Why did this yeah. mean? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like, you know, I don't like you now. I look like a bad person if I 
adults don't. Yeah. Like, you really go out saving like okay, that? I guess I'm petty, because I don't. You lying. She lying. Nah, that's so deep, though, like.